Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, today, I'm feeling a little intolerant of stupidity. Like when I hear the religious right saying that uh, we're having school shootings because we've taken God out of the schools and won't let the kids pray anymore. Well, nobody's forbidden from praying. They just can't be forced to. It seems to me that over the years, there have been quite a few shootings in churches. Did we take God out of the churches too? Because all that praying didn't seem to help very much. Oh, and, and when the Catholic priests were uh, molesting the altar boys in the back of the church, God didn't do much about that either. And God seems to have been asleep at the switch during the Crusades and the Inquisition. And believe me, there was a lot of praying going on back then. And guess what? Not only did praying not stop any of the evil, it contributed directly to it. So shut the fuck up. And then there are the dickheads who say, well, we should arm the teachers then. Well, guess what? In every profession, teachers, cops, construction workers, doctors, nurses, there's a few bad apples in every profession. There's a few crazy people in every profession. Most teachers are dedicated and hardworking, but n not all of them. So you arm the teachers, and here's what's going to happen. Somewhere down the line, some teacher's going to come into the classroom and kill all his students. The whole idea that these kind of things can be prevented by arming everybody is stupid. Let's say you're at a mall. Somebody starts shooting. You duck down and, uh, and pull out your gun and get back up, ready to save the day. Well, let's say the four other guys, also armed, have the same idea that you do. So you get up and look around, and there's four armed people. And you don't know who the shooter is and who the good guys are, do you? And they don't know the same about you. Chances are just as likely you're going to kill each other as get the shooter. And when a and when you shoot a bullet at what you think might be the real threat and you miss, that bullet just doesn't stop. It keeps going till it hits something. Maybe it's a wall, maybe it's a shelf, maybe it's another person. Or maybe you're, you're looking for the shooter and some guy comes running around the corner at full speed, trying to get away from the shooter. But there he is, he startles the daylights out of you, and you have that split second to decide whether he's a threat or not. Chances are, you're going to shoot that guy. Poor son of a bitch thought he was safe getting around the corner. Thought he'd saved his life. But no, he ran into you. I've done some threat assessment training. And in the simulations, I killed a lot of innocent civilians. And soldiers and police, they do that shit all the time. And sometimes they don't get it right. So let me tell you something. The last guy I would trust with my life in that situation is some Yahoo from the NRA. Thanks for listening.